The United Kingdom has taken a major leap forward in modern military technology with the announcement that its new Dragonfire laser weapon system is preparing for deployment aboard Royal Navy destroyers. The Advanced Directed Energy uh, system has been tested extensively over the past year and has now demonstrated the ability to shoot down high-speed drones traveling at roughly 400 miles per hour, marking one of the most significant breakthroughs in the UK's air defense program in decades. Its operational cost, just around $13 per shot, signals what defense experts believe could be a transformative moment for naval warfare, missile interception strategies, and cost-efficient protection of critical infrastructure. For the United States and other NATO partners, the development is being closely observed as militaries worldwide search for ways to counter rapidly evolving drone threats. The announcement comes at a time when drones have reshaped battlefields in Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and the Red Sea. Swarming unmanned aircraft, low-flying explosive drones, and long-range surveillance UAVs have introduced threats that traditional missile-based air defenses struggle to counter affordably. Interceptors can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars per launch, and even successful engagements strain resources. Dragonfire, by contrast, delivers a highly precise beam of energy at a negligible per-shot cost, shifting the economics of defense decisively in favor of the defender. British officials noted that the new system is capable of maintaining accuracy over long distances, heating and disabling targets with a level of precision previously associated with high-end laboratory lasers rather than military hardware, during testing, the laser successfully tracked and destroyed fast-moving drones that simulated real-world threats, including aircraft traveling at speeds used by hostile reconnaissance drones and explosive platforms. Engineers emphasized that the system can deliver enough concentrated energy to neutralize a target within seconds. Unlike conventional weapons, Dragonfire does not rely on ammunition, meaning warships equipped with it would not face logistical shortages during extended missions. As long as the platform can generate sufficient electrical power, it can fire repeatedly, giving commanders a reliable defensive option during prolonged engagements. The UK Ministry of Defense has expressed confidence that the technology is now ready to begin transitioning from prototype to deployment. Type 45 destroyers, which currently rely on missile-based systems like Sea Viper, will be the first to integrate Dragonfire into their defensive suite. Naval analysts say the addition of a laser weapon could dramatically expand defensive coverage, providing a low-cost way to counter drones, small aircraft, and potentially even incoming rockets or artillery shells. Although the ministry has not publicly confirmed operational timelines, officials indicated that early fielding is expected to begin sooner than initially planned due to the accelerating pace of global drone threats. International observers, particularly in Washington, have been watching the program closely. The United States has invested heavily in its own directed energy weapons, but large-scale naval integration remains a long-term effort. American military planners have repeatedly emphasized that the United States must prepare for a future where drone swarms, hypersonic threats, and autonomous platforms are common features of conflict. UK advancements may serve as a preview of what American destroyers and carrier strike groups could also adopt in the near future. Defense cooperation between the US and UK has historically led to technology sharing, and analysts believe the demonstrated success of Dragonfire will likely influence similar programs within the Pentagon. Beyond military strategy, the financial impact of laser technology is gaining major attention in the US defense community. Congressional debates on defense spending have highlighted the rising cost of missile intercepts, especially in regions where persistent drone activity demands daily responses. Even wealthy militaries can be strained when forced to use expensive interceptors against low-cost enemy drones. Dragonfire's $13 cost per shot offers a stark contrast, making it an attractive model for budget-conscious allies. Some American defense officials have already suggested that the economic shift created by laser weapons could become as important as the technological leap itself. British engineers behind the project have emphasized the scientific challenges they overcame in developing the system. Maintaining beam stability over long distances, ensuring accurate tracking of fast-moving aerial targets, and generating enough power aboard naval vessels were among the most difficult aspects of the program. To solve these issues, developers used advanced optical technologies, adaptive tracking systems, and sophisticated energy management hardware.
capable of delivering consistent power in demanding maritime environments. The result is a weapon that can hit a target no larger than a coin from miles away, according to UK defense officials, although the laser is not expected to replace all traditional air defense systems, military planners say it will complement existing weapons. Missiles remain essential for long-range interception and for neutralizing large, heavily shielded threats. However, lasers provide an efficient option for close-range engagements where speed and cost are critical. In layered defense strategies, Dragonfire could serve as the first line of protection, reserving expensive missiles for more serious threats. If deployed successfully, this hybrid approach could become a template for future naval defenses across NATO. Public interest in the technology has grown as footage and reports of successful tests have circulated in the UK. Many citizens have expressed pride in the country's technological progress, while others have raised questions about the ethics of advanced weaponry. Defense officials have responded by stressing that directed energy systems are defensive tools aimed at protecting service members, shipping lanes, and critical infrastructure from airborne threats. In the United States, the conversation has followed a similar tone, with analysts highlighting the need for responsible integration of emerging technologies while acknowledging the realities of modern warfare. The potential for lasers to be used beyond naval platforms is also being explored. The UK is assessing whether modified versions of Dragonfire could protect military bases, airfields, and even civilian infrastructure such as power stations or airports. Other countries are conducting similar research. The growing global focus on drone defense ensures that laser systems will play an increasingly important role in military planning. For the U.S., which maintains military installations worldwide, the ability to deploy affordable directed energy systems could become a strategic necessity. As the Royal Navy prepares to bring dragon fire aboard its ships, the move signals a broader shift in military priorities. Nations are investing heavily in systems that offer rapid response, cost efficiency, and resilience against evolving threats. For the United States, the UK's achievement offers both a model and a partner in the race to redefine air defense. Drone warfare has changed the pace and nature of modern conflict, and the demand for solutions is only growing. With dragon fire, the United Kingdom has taken a decisive step toward a new era of defense technology, and its impact will likely ripple across allied militaries for years to come.